There's a little island off the coast which has played a big part in the Weather Bureau's early warning system since 1921. Willis Island is a speck in the Coral Sea about 450 kilometres east of Cairns. Staff there were evacuated by emergency helicopter the day before Cyclone Yazi struck last year. The cyclone destroyed much of the weather centre and earlier this year a team with supplies and equipment took a bureau camera along to capture the rebuilding. Our own weather expert Jenny Woodward was able to interview the Willis Island team by satellite phone and compiled this report. It's a busy afternoon on the Cairns Wharf. A reef-going catamaran is being loaded with tonnes of supplies. To the casual observer, it looks like preparations for a long fishing trip or perhaps stock for a small supermarket. But these boxes hold the key to the mystery. This small, dedicated team from the Bureau of Meteorology are heading to the remote, tiny Willis Island in the Coral Sea. Too far for a helicopter transfer, the only way is by boat. The trip can take up to 30 hours, but this time a fast cat on a smooth sea will get them there in 12 hours. With a four-person staff, Willis Island is home to a vital part of Australia's early cyclone warning systems, as officer in charge Martin Greer explains. It's very strategically located in regard to um uh, detecting um, early formation of cyclones. So we've got a radar here. That's one of its uh, primary roles. With all satellite imagery and all of that, um, it's very handy, but a meteorologist will always say that a radar on the, on the spot is probably the best equipment to have in regard to tracking cyclones. Yeah, it's just great to have a presence out here too, you know. You can never beat sort of um, eyes, eyes on the ground. Our job is to conduct meteorological uh, observations, both surface and upper. There's a technician here, but we've also got like, the domestic duties, general maintenance of the buildings and the equipment. Because obviously, being out here, just the four of us, we've got to provide our own power generation, provide our own fresh water, sewage, all that sort of stuff. So it's, it's, it's like a little small community. There's plenty of opportunity for recreation and, uh, yeah, it's generally, life's generally pretty good out here, but uh, it can get hectic at times. The Willis Island station was savaged by tropical cyclone Yasi, and after extensive and logistically difficult repairs over many months, the station is fully operational again. The main uh, building remained intact, which was great. It's, it's rated up to Cat 5, so it withstood the cyclone. Um, the radar uh, was damaged. Um, and then, uh, the anemometer was damaged um, and a lot of the support equipment, um, the auxiliary equipment around, around the uh, island was uh, damaged and needs replacement. Things like um, the desalination plant, the sewage plant. So basically um, the main building remained intact but a lot of other stuff has to be um, refurbished. Not only was the radar completely destroyed, but the small 200 by 400 metre island has changed shape since Yasi ripped through and stripped the vegetation away. An ecologist was brought in to work alongside the building team that carried out the major repairs, and she's now advising the staff about revegetation and weed control. Public enemy number one that, that I'm concerned with at the moment is this one here, um, Cleom gynandra, which hasn't actually been recorded out here previously, but I suspect it's actually been here for quite a while based on the seed bank that seems to be here. And it's basically just taken the opportunity of the um, available moisture to just take off. This is the second time Martin Greer has been on the island, and for him, the wildlife is one of the reasons he was keen to return. Lots of turtles. They're breeding this time of the year. So it's a really, it's a, it's a wonderful habitat. It's uh, like a little island in the middle of nowhere. There's not a lot of islands out here, like, um, say, inshore. Um, so a lot of island, uh, birds come out here to roost um, and to breed. The mutton birds are breeding at the moment. 
and uh, there's a lot of booby birds, terns. Um, it's qu it's quite um, an amazing experience. And it, one of the things I took away from my last uh, tour was um, how close to nature you can get, and um, nature's cycle of um, finding a mate, breeding, and raising young. And it's just an amazing cycle, and it's amazing to to be able to witness so, uh, in, uh, so closely. The Bureau takes great care to protect the fragile environment. Today, Nicole Cranston is ready to launch the balloon. So as you can see at Willis Island, we have birds that like to land on our uh, balloon launcher. So we just need to encourage them to move away. <laughs> Technical officer Matthew Costa is not only responsible for keeping the instruments in good working condition, but also for maintaining the crucial power and water plants in excellent working order. Whilst living on Willis Island, one of our biggest and most closely monitored uh, life support systems is our desal plant and water, water levels. Behind me in the room here, we have two desal units that have recently been installed, replacing a single. One's a duty, which is on the right hand side, and the left hand side is a standby. Should anything happen to our first, it then clicks over to the secondary and runs from there. Um, tastes all right, tastes a bit like town water and pretty good units, just keep running. The posting on Willis Island is for volunteers only. The contenders go through extensive training and psychological testing as all staff have to deal with the combination of isolation and living in a very small community. So I liked the idea of coming to a remote posting and throwing myself in the deep end, so to speak, and I suppose if we can survive here for three months, uh, hopefully most of the other postings will be a bit easier. So. The island is supplied for three or six month stays, and there are only occasional visitors. Yeah, cruise ships uh, come by and drop anchor um, to take advantage of the uh, um, duty free. Um, had a very interesting um, morning one day when the Navy was just bobbing outside the office. <laughs> So we invited them on, uh, on, on, on the island and we had a great few hours with the Navy boys. They would have liked to stay longer, but they were, in a, they, were, they were in a hurry to get somewhere else. But uh, yeah, you do get um, the occasional yachties coming through and um, you know, they'll always sort of make VHF contact and want to get an updated weather report. The attraction is it's a beautiful island up in the tropics and hopefully I get to enjoy some of it while I'm here. It's a unique experience for anyone posted to the island. Their dedication and sense of adventure provides a vital and valued service. And the rest of the country knows they're there by the ever-reliable radar signal. Jenny Woodward reporting.